what is up guys and welcome back to another video today now a couple of days ago I did do a video where I reacted to um, some weird creepy stories that was on Halloween and uh, today I'm back to do pretty much the same thing except for the fact that it's not Halloween and uh, today we're gonna be looking at Craigslist stories instead so that should be really fun and uh yeah. Yep. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and uh hop right into this, shall we? When things don't load. This is a this light. Not in the right spot. There we go. Number three. I'm a 22 year old girl. I was looking through Craigslist to buy a couch for my new apartment a month ago. I found something I thought seemed like a good deal. From the pictures, the couch seemed to be in great shape. I also wanted to be contacted by email. This email was Mexican Hot 666 at I felt that email. Not cool. I commented on this and he just smiled and offered to lower the price. I told him I'm not interested. And here's where things started getting creepy. As I was making my way out of the house, he put his hand on my shoulder and offered to give it to me for free if I was willing to, quote unquote, give something to him. I let out a disgusted gasp and got back into my car. I didn't even look up out the window. I just drove away. That's not right. Okay, so obviously, you know, let's just go ahead and make the prediction now that he followed her home. Obviously, because, I mean, what else is this going to... What else is this going to end out to be? You know? And, uh, still, it's pretty freaky, though. I mean, uh, let's just say he did follow her home. What's going to happen? Is she going to die? Are the cops going to get there? I have no idea. But, either way, following someone home from a fake Craigslist ad is just wrong by my standards you may be a hundred percent different than me and think that this is okay that's you not me but that is not okay
I mean, wow, yeah. Whew. I hate it when they leave things like that. Or they leave things at something. Because now we have no idea if it was him or if it was just a coincidence. But I'm guessing it was him. Now, the video says true, but that could be clickbait. I don't know if these are true or not. They could just be stupid creepy pastas that people read and make videos on like I am right now. You never know. But be careful because things like this can happen to you. I only use Craigslist. I only use Craigslist when I'm looking to, like, uh, when I'm looking at houses or stuff like that. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys are wondering, this scuff on the wall is from my chair, not this one, but uh, my other chair. And this one back here is from my lamp, uh, which is right here. So yeah, all right, let's resume this. Okay, so, if you guys missed that at the beginning because I paused it while the man was talking, I guess this lady was looking to buy her 18-year-old son a car, and Craigslist was the only uh, place to find a really good cheap one, I guess. So this is what happens. Such a fake name. I mean, like. You know, usually if you're gonna do something like this, and the house is far away from neighbors, or anything other than field or property, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna tell you, you should probably get the heck out of there, like right then and there, while you realize, you know, you still got time to live. So yeah, uh, I'm not really thinking this guy here, Bob, is legit. Now, maybe it's going to be like the other story, and he does have a 2003 Toyota Camry LE, yet it's in terrible condition, and he's going to want more than 3500 for it. Or he could just kill her all, in all. So, you know, anything can happen on Craigslist. Let's see what happens. If a house also has like a broken doorbell, you'll know that he's probably not trustworthy and he doesn't take care of his property. So I dialed his number and I heard the sound of the cell phone ringing from inside the house. I was extremely confused at this point. Now I knew I had the right house. I didn't understand why he was home and why he wasn't answering. I decided I had to take a peek through one of the windows to see if anybody was inside. Okay, that's creepy right there. Somebody just standing at the back door of the house, staring outside. I'm actually starting to like... Ugh.
Like, I, I don't... God, I'm almost tempted to look out the window right now, just like... Is there someone out there? <laughs> okay. Alright, uh... Let's see what the heck happens. So, Bob, I guess, is just standing and looking out the window. Okay. I can't, I can't listen to this one anymore. Oh my god, yo. Alright, um, I'm going to the next one. Screw that one. A year ago, I found a guy on Craigslist who was selling his for $200. He claimed it was a mint condition and that he wanted to upgrade to the 5C. I didn't know much about okay, how so I was testing the phone to make sure everything works. So I brought my little brother along who knew a lot more than I did. We met halfway at a Dunkin' Donuts parking lot at like 10 o'clock at night. Why would you meet them? stepped out of a black Honda Civic and walked over to us. One of the guys pulled out the phone and showed it to me. It didn't have a scratch on it. My brother took out my SIM card and popped it into this new phone. He did some testing and told me that it works. The guy then asked me for 250 even though he originally asked for 200 That's I shady. I told him I only brought 200 He seemed a bit unhappy with this. I did have 250 but I didn't want to spend more than original asking price. I kind of figured it was his way of making sure I didn't haggle down the price. I don't know if that's in the video or not, but my door just made like the weirdest freaking noise ever. And being as that I'm, bleh, being that I'm watching this video right now, I don't know if like I jumped a little bit, but I felt like a shiver run through my body. I, I think I jumped a little bit. I'll, I'm gonna have to go back in the video and see that, but this is like messing me up. I handed the guy the 200 and he and his buddy got back in their car. We got back into my car and I tested out the new phone by calling my girlfriend. I sat testing things around for about five minutes. My brother commented on the fact that the two guys hadn't left yet either, but I didn't really care. I started the car and pulled out of the parking lot. My brother then commented that the two guys started their just as I had. I didn't find it too weird. I drove down the turnpike and eventually stopped at a red light. I find that pretty weird. The black Honda Civic pull up right behind us in my rear view mirror. Ugh. I found that a bit weird since I was sure they came from the opposite direction. I continued my drive home, but every single turn we made, they followed, close on my tail too. My brother suggested I pull over, but there was no way I was going to do that. I knew those guys were looking for trouble. Got to the point where I was trying to lose them and started driving dangerously. If they needed something, they would call or at least honk their horn, but they were looking for some kind of trouble. I tried something risky to lose them. At an intersection, the light had just turned to red. I floored it across the intersection before any of the cars would begin to pass. My brother shouted at me, calling me stupid and crazy, but it worked. They didn't follow. We got home after the actual long drive. My heart was still racing from the intensity of the situation. I was just happy I got work and phone for such a low cost. Later that night, I was playing around with the phone trying to set some things up before going to bed. My parents and brother were already asleep at this point. And just then, the sound of two car doors slamming shut outside interrupted me. I looked out my window, and I felt like my heart completely stopped. The black Honda Civic was parked across the street. I could only assume the two guys were already halfway to our front door. I immediately woke up my dad and explained everything as quickly as possible. He got up, grabbed the baseball bat, and crouched behind the front door. A loud knock came at the front door. My 
dad screamed at them to go away. One of the guys on the other side of the door claimed to have a gun and said that he would shoot the lock off of the door if he didn't open up. My dad told Jesus. me to call Joe, our friend who lives two doors down who happens to be a police officer. Joe, a police officer next door. Family Guy reference gotta be fake. That, like, mm. God, that last one was okay. The first one was somewhat, like, like, I, I kept it in there. But that middle one, I apologize for quitting. I just couldn't. Wow. Man, there's some, like, places that I just completely draw the line and say, screw that. Yeah. Well, if you've made it this far in the video, go down and hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to the subscribe button to turn on video notifications. Comment down in the comments, uh, down in the comment section, what you want me to do for a video. Oh, and, uh, my buddy, Ben, texted me before I started recording, well, Benjamin. He lives in Denmark, and he has a really popular YouTube channel, and he just started a new series called Minecraft GTA, and he did number one on it just today, before I started this video. And, uh, it would mean a lot to me, it would mean a lot to him if you went and go check that out. I don't know if I already said it, but his YouTube name is Craner. So, go check that out. Just, it's today. So, yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. What is up, my amazing YouTube family? It is Blind Sandwich, back for another video. If you guys do enjoy this video, you know... You know, do all the things you would normally do if you enjoy a video. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And also tell me down in the comments what you want to see for videos that are like this or other videos that you want to be completely different than this. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. Peace.